Mm -hmm. Asset live image. Yeah, go away. Her share image made again. There we go. Okay. Ding dong. Through there. So Friday. I know what the light half off is. It's not as bright, but your eyes will adjust. And I'll let you guys in on a secret. First day in 26 days, no migraine. 27 days. No migraine. It's like a little tiny, so I don't even count it. So I'm going to keep the lights like this and hope it stays like this. But this would be really nice if I could keep this away. Okay. So I think it was Friday that we got that depiction done, right? Yeah. Thought it looked great. And I looked ahead a page in my notebook. We have to cover up one part of it. And then we have to cover up another part of it today. Wow. Part of the lesson is developing our knowledge. Yeah. So page 28 in your notebook. There's one part of the lab you guys were not able to see. I have the ingredients. I'll recreate it so you can see this one part. Kind of important. Have you already been tent checked in? Okay. Pardon me just for a moment, Megan, so I can When you go, Eason, if you could shut the door, I would very much appreciate it because it's already going to be loud enough. Everybody doesn't need to hear this and feel it too. Yup, mm -hmm. um. yup. Yeah, yeah. So sorry, Charlie. Okay, go away. Hi, I'm Rex Moore with the oh, Motley oh. Fool in front of yeah. BMW self-driving exhibit. Bye. Need to hear him. This is me trying to make our sound effects. That wasn't what you were asking me, was it? You more specifically you asked a question, eh? I thought it was like a self-driving car. Oh. But that wasn't a question we asked, was it? He said, huh? What is that? That's a very basic question. Why is blood asking specific questions? And that's why people that are Thanks. It's bass, yeah. Deep voices. Yeah, it's gonna be loud. Yep. Okay, so here's the deal. Friday in this class, because I had so many things I had to put together, like you know, the sounds uh driver. We lost about 25 minutes. That guy has the deepest voice, ten thousand. Um or Actually, Castellano does. You know, my husband and I watch him. You know, he can go, oh, um, but not many of them are on iTunes or songs. They're part of uh, sound play or color play. Or I don't know. Just playing with your voices. It's open. Okay. So, Friday, because we had, um, 
25 minutes that I had to reinstall the sound drivers. I didn't have that 25 minutes in the class that the other classes had. Okay. So you guys only saw the salt jump when it was on top of the speakers. I need you to see what happens if the speakers are on both sides of the cup, but not actually touching. Okay. That was part of the lesson, and it's a key part of the lesson. So that's what you're looking for, okay? Come on. Darn it. Okay, Megan, can you see the two speakers and a cup right between them? Yes, ma'am. Megan, anybody there? Yes, ma'am. Seance right now. Anybody there? Anyone? Anyone? Okay. Now fix to be loud. <laughs> oh. enough of it to see what I was trying to get you to notice. Do the speakers have to be touching the sound cup receiver? Okay, so what we're calling this cup is the receiver because that's the thing that we're trying to get to receive the sound. Okay, it's not that the salt is listening to the sound. What's it doing? What's the salt doing? How do we know it's receiving it? It's moving. It's vibrating, right? Okay, good. All right. Let me turn this way down. Yeah. Uh, not so much up, but very much down. If someone knocks on the door, they can come in. Come in. Door is not locked. It's only like that so that I can play the music really loud. You can wedge it now. That's the only part that I had to play music loud before. Have y'all already had your temps checked? Okay. You get your Chromebook then, Mariah. Okay. So RQ, I'm doing this so you know that the screen has not gone black. Okay. It's just a black tablecloth. It's a black on phone right now. Okay. That's what it's actually showing. You can't see it right now, but. Little Miss Moosey. It's, it's the way that Elmo is picking up on it. Okay. Point is, it's not a blacked out computer screen. It's just a black tablecloth with a cut in. So we know the salt is receiving energy. Kimber, can you shut the door? Not the class door, but the Chromebook, Chrome Farts door. You gotta latch it. How do we know that the salt is receiving energy? Because it's moving. Because it's moving. And I don't know if I brought this up in first block. I know I did second and third. Did you notice that when there were multiple voices singing at the same time, the salt moved more? Yeah, because it was like more like more what? Bass. Like not just more bass, more pitch or voices. More sound. More sound, which means more vibration vibration more energy right so when you have more than one person singing you have more than you have more energy make sense and when the tempo got faster in other words when the song was faster the salt moved more did we talk about that friday okay 
So think back to January and when you guys were all able to do the sound cup or when I had two groups do sound cup. When you were in front of the speaker, could you feel the sound in your hands? You couldn't feel the sound just now when I was playing it over here? No. You couldn't feel it vibrate? Would, would you like me to repeat it? Yeah, I can feel it. Y'all are not going to be able to. They might. If I turn it up all the way and leave it running for a while, they would feel it oh, yeah. coming through the air. So sound, well, it wasn't touching those speakers, was it? No. So what was the sound traveling through? The air. So sound waves travel through the air. They don't have to be actually touching. The sound goes through the air. Just like if I would have had this go in longer, these two would have most definitely felt it in their hands. Or if they put their head down like Jaden did Friday, she felt it in her head. So that music has plenty of energy in it because their guys are plenty deep enough with the voices, especially when you had more than one person singing at one time. There's a lot of energy to it and you can feel it on your hands and in your body. Maybe not over there as much, but they're closer. So they could. Okay. Um, got that part done. We got that part done. Has everybody copied that drawing onto page 28? Okay. I'm going to try to take a picture and print it. Not that picture. Nope. 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 Oh, Miss Gassett. Do you see a picture on there you recognize? Yeah. Oh. Megan, you see a big sister? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I turned my speaker down too far. I did put my trash out this morning, didn't I? Okay. Here's another really good one of your sister. <clears throat> she had her old glasses. <laughs> well, I had gone away on a sub day. Here's another one with her. And my students did a lot of talking, quite a few students, not all of them, but quite a few. So I changed up my lab for the day that I returned. So they got to taste the, the uh, salinity of the swamp, taste the swamp. It was fresh water that I added different amounts of salt in it. And they had to determine what the amount of salt was in each little cup of water. That would have been nice. I'll need some salt. Oh no, it didn't taste good. I, it had herbs in it. It tasted nasty. Look at Mason's face. <laughs> no. Mason lot. my dad told me to put water and ice to make it cool down. Yes. Yeah, I used Himalayan salt. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
feels much softer when you're walking on it, especially yeah. that sand. <sighs> okay. No. <clears throat> okay, you're going to give me a few minutes, Megan, so I can try to print this from my computer because it won't take it straight to my printer. Being picky. Yep. No, it's not the playground. And it actually reminded me of an experiment that we need to do. So I didn't have enough room in my bag to bring it today, but there's an activity that we're going to do probably tomorrow. Uh, it's comparing how different soil sizes filter water. And so we went through 22 bottles so far, probably can get two more today this afternoon um, so that we can do the experiment in class tomorrow. There we go. All right, Megan, one picture coming right up. If I could get my printer to wake up, it'd be great. Get your uh, device. Yeah, I can get it for you in a minute. Okay, Megan, here is the drawing that needs to go on page 28. I'm going to zoom out a little bit, that way the whole drawing fits. Every beach apparently in the world has different sand from other beaches. It's pretty amazing. Because you had different amounts of black sand in there, white sand. That's what they call very high quartz. That's why it's white. That's Florida beaches for you. They have very high quartz levels in there. What's that? Yes. Huh? Yes. Are those like beaches that no one goes to? Get this done for page 28, my friends. Okay, label it. Okay. It is black. Okay. 
Okay, so Tom Marino Beach uh, sand is white like this quartz, but it's not quite as white. Tom Marino, this is their sand. It has a lot more brown to it. Tamarindo. It's, it's in Costa Rica. In Guanacaste. Tamarindo. Uh, part of that was a bad word. Don't do that. Don't worry about it. Has everybody got that done yet? What it says in the arrow is air seems like it's moving, but we can't see how it moves. We just know it is because we could feel it on our hands. And the salt moved, even if, was, if the speakers were not touching the cup. This is quiet control sand. There you go. Uh-uh, not rock. Is it rock? No, there's not rock. I don't see shell. Yes. Shell means shell. Why it controls, we went to Costa Rica. Shell beach. I got shells of sand. How many shells? That's what's like sand is broken up shell. This just isn't broken up very much. That looks like it hurts. Mm -hmm. Very soft because it's very tiny. That is magnified so that you can actually see the shell to it. It looks like it's a shell beach. That's what it's known for. It's fly it control it. means it, shell beach. It kind of looks like. Oh, it's very soft. Can you feel that one? Yeah. Can you feel that one type of sand that's almost like this? Uh, Florida's beach sand. Yeah, well, I wanted a course. Of course, right, only one is a real world. So that's why there's so many shells in the sea. Oh. Shells come out of the ocean. See, this is Playa Conchal from back farther. It looks white. You only know that it shells when you're walking on it. You're like, this feels different. And it doesn't stick to you. You know how when you're on shell, on shell when you're on sand, it sticks to you? Yeah. Well, Playa Conchal, because it's actually shell, they're bigger pieces. Each granule is bigger, it's part of the shell. So it doesn't really stick to you. So your feet can't get like off sandy? It can, but if just you do like that, it comes right off. It doesn't stick to you like what we're used to with sand beaches. The sand, what it looks like? The painful looking egg. No, it wasn't. You weren't there. Stop. Oh, no. I can't understand. I know you guys didn't see this, but the shells I brought back, they're This is Pomerino Beach. It looks white, but look at the distance. It's not quite as white as us by the The guy and Ian, no one has them. Don't get me a sanitizer on it. Uh, this is right around the corner from Pomerino. So it's probably got some shells in it. That was us after the storm. That's why we had to walk right out and just walk in. This is Playa Control up here. You can barely tell that there's a shell right behind the holes. The hole is really little. And where we were staying, I ever heard of Smirnoff? What is Smirnoff? 
Yeah. 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 So the parent company for it back in 2010 apparently had to deal with where we were staying at the resort at uh, five beaches. And so every day, Allie, Allie, um, we would come back to our room and the fridge would be stocked with fresh smell. Like, it's not fresh fruit stuff. So the only thing they were putting in there that was non alcoholic was this orange fruit. So we couldn't take their cold to see the orange all over the place. He was sucking out all the orange stuff because the only non alcoholic drink was doing every day in our fridge. I'm like, can you stop? They're giving us beer galore. Like, can you stop with this beer? We don't drink beer. It's gross. So we're all like sucking down the orange stuff before we had an orange mustache because that was the only non alcoholic drink they kept putting in our fridge. It was an all inclusive place. All the food and drink was included. Can you see over his shoulder though? You can just barely see those rocks behind him. Those are shells. That's the whole beach. It's all shell beach. So it doesn't stick to you. It doesn't make a mess. Um, you put this. Wait, good. You put a tube in your mouth and go under water and see. I bought these things that now they they're old, so the rubber's rotted. Probably the rubber's rotted on your mouth bands in here, so they turn off the air last summer. Um, you can get this full face mask that goes over your face. Have y'all seen those snorkeling masks? Oh, yeah. yeah, I have those too. Those are pretty cool. Colby loves those because they don't impede your vision. So they have a just vision here. You see everywhere in your face. We it's have just to get that little thing. Yeah, well, you can suck in water that way. And you can't go very deep with that. Whereas if you have a full face on, you can go 20 feet down and you can go fine. Yeah. With a full face mask, you go on down. I'm good about holding my breath anyway, so I can free out. Yeah. Yeah. I said, it's a good thing my heart was healthy when I had the problem with the medicine. Can you see this over Colby's shoulder? That shell is behind him. There is shell. But it didn't stick to my pregnancy. Now, unfortunately, a European, I think it's Weston, I read her in Weston or something. They own it. So it went from being 360 a night to like $3,500 a night. And no, I prefer it. Can't afford that. All right, so there's different kinds of sand. Every beach is different. We went to one museum. Can you get the Dallas Sea? Um, they have it closed since COVID. Hopefully, they're going to open it soon. Who in here has been to Dallas Sea? Okay. I still did. Okay, so in that little building where you can trade rocks and such, if you look in the court when they open it back up, because it's a thing, a horrible thing in the past, um, they have a crate, a cabinet that has soil, not soil, sand samples from around the world in different beaches. And they have one for fly control because their sand is so different because it's shells. So it's one that everybody's like, can I have some fly control? I cannot find my cup. I have two little things that are the size of the one I brought from Florida, little medicine things like impression. I have two like that of fly control and I cannot find it. All right, everybody got this? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So in this model, this was what was vibrating, right? What sensory structure do we use to receive sound? Um, our ears. Our ears. Okay. So do you think your ears vibrate when sound reaches them? No. Hold on. We're getting a new student and she's coming in this classroom. I don't know. In this class. Oh, is she going to be your homework? Nope. 
Oh, oh my God. Yes. 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 Okay, all right. Do you think something in your ear vibrates when sound reaches it? Yes. No. Yes. yes. If you think no, raise your hand. Okay, if you think yes, raise your hand. Okay. So those of you who think something vibrates, what do you think is vibrating? Eardrum. 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 Okay. Here's the thing. Everybody's eardrum, if you have one, will vibrate. But you have to have something touching the eardrum, kind of like dominoes. You have to have each piece touching something else. Otherwise, there's nothing physical to vibrate. So it doesn't Yes. You have an eardrum, and then you have little bones behind it. You have three little bones. You have an eardrum, and then you have on the inside three teeny tiny little bones. If any of those bones are missing, you don't have anything to transmit the vibration to your eardrum. Or more appropriately, your eardrum will pick up the vibration, but it won't pass it on to those bones and get it to your auditory nerve and get it to your brain. So you won't hear out of the ear in that ear. My mom was that. My so mom had to have one bone removed. People who can't no, there's various reasons why a person can be deaf, but I happen to know that my mom lost her hearing one year because she had an infection. She didn't get treated for a couple of years. And so years, yeah. So um it ate away at the bone because like I said, two years of not getting it treated. Why didn't she get it No health insurance. No. She didn't she didn't ever take care of herself. Um so the bone um if one of those bones is missing some people can be born without them or if something goes wrong with the bone and they have to remove the bone which is what they have to do with the mom then you don't have anything for those like dominoes they have to touch each other you don't have anything for one of them to touch right like every one of them has to be touching something for the vibration to pass through to get to the nerve to your brain to get the sound but what if like there's only two left that's what it was. There were two. You have to have all three. They're so tiny. So, how can we examine an ear? Because I'm not cutting off anybody's ear and going forward. <laughs> can we get through a little tube and then like put a little on it? Most of your ear parts are on the inside of your eardrum. We're not going to tear up your eardrum to look at it. <laughs> so sorry, buddy. So, can we look at a picture of it? No, 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 no. Listen, can we look at a model of it? I'm not texting. Who has an iPhone? iPhone 10 or 11? The latest update on it has forced sound. It's called sound and haptic. It has forced sound. So even though I turned off all the sound in my apps, it's still going on. So I have teacher stamps coming in through Etsy and that's what's making what sounds like a slot machine go off of my phone. Yeah, Did I miss uh, other calls from my boss? Like spark, so that's what I'm texting. All right, so we're gonna look at a picture of an ear, a model, like oh. models of an ear. And I need you to go to your page 29. Oh, you don't need to look at a real ear. Not a real human ear? No. Oh. No, 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 no. I don't human want to see all that. Uh, ah, nasty. I just want to see it from the beginning. Oh my God. Wait. No, 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 no. Guys, um, we're going to look at a model of an ear. And I want you to tell me some things you notice and some questions you have. Okay? And I'm going to point out the bones just because I've already mentioned it to you guys. All right. So this is your notice and wonder page, page 29. What are you doing? 
Nope. Okay. Quiet. Here's one of the bones. That one's called a stirrup because it looks like a horse stirrup, doesn't it? Who has a horse at home? Okie dokie, the part you put your foot in when you get into the saddle. Looks like this, does it not? I got a white poke about it. Okay. Well, this is the part you'd put your foot in if it was on a horse's saddle. There's one bone. What else do you notice in the picture? Let me tell you what this is. This, no, this is bone. That is all bone. So that, what would that bone be? So then this is the ear. What would that bone be? Skull. skull your ear it's attached to your skull okay this right here what is that what part that's the outside of the ear so what is this eardrum okay so here's one bone here's another bone here's a third bone they all touch each other. Okay. Those are nerves. That's what takes a signal to your brain. Guys, if you don't have the nerve, you don't have a way of getting that, that message of sound to your brain. They just changed up the color so we could see it easier. People who don't have the nerve or the nerve is diseased and doesn't work, they can't hear. There's a lot of things that can go wrong in the ear that make a person deaf or hard of hearing. This right here would be muscle. Um, this, if I'm not mistaken, would be fatty tissue, like right here. You have just a very thin layer of fatty tissue behind your ear. That's what my doctor puts in her car. Hi there. Oh, All right, guys, quiet. Tiffany, I can run that.
Okay, so everybody else in my class. Me and my big pencil, it works. Give me three things you notice about that picture of the ear. Eh, you've got to tell me what they all is. You could be talking about Logan's touching Maya's hand and Maya's hand is touching Joanna for all I care. You have to be specific, do you not? Does it make a difference? What? The bones all touch. Okay, that's more specific. I can work with that. Okay. Logan. Logan. I've got 24 years experience with kids. Don't make me embarrass you. That's it. Okay. All right, so mu muscles. This would be that tiny little fatty area, I do believe, but I'm going to look it up in a few minutes. This is all bone. Bone has a lot of holes in it so that it's lighter weight. This is the auditory nerve, meaning it's the nerve that feeds your ear. Auditory means sound. This is a cochlea. What are the white things? This right here? No, ma'am. The one by the ear. The actual. Oh, this right here? Yes, ma'am. I'm not sure, but I think that's a cutaway of cartilage because your ear is cartilaginous. It's not bone. Okay. The green is the auditory nerve. This is cartilage. These? I'll have to look them up again. Okay, so here's the thing, guys. I need you to number three notices and then number three wonders. Poor Tiffany is being inundated with so much information right now. <laughs> Walking in in the middle of a lesson. <laughs> oh, by the way, your teacher has ADHD, so I'm all over the place. So sorry. This is called the cochlea. That has to do with hearing because it it has to touch the auditory nerve also. Reminds me of a snail. Like the snail. All right, three notices and three wonders, my friends. Okay, so these are called the semicircular canals. And they have to do with your balance. If you're feeling dizzy, a lot of times it has to do with the problem with these things right here. They have medicine you can take both to dry up those semicircular canals like Benadryl. It can help you with dizziness. They also have something called meclizine that can help with dizziness that has to do with these semicircular canals. All that is skull. This is fat. I feel like I'm saying the same things over and over again. Muscle that attaches it to the head. Well, it's not stapled on your head. All right, Tiffany, when you're done with that one on page 28, the 29, you come up with three things you notice about the picture. They don't have to be sentences. They could be bulleted points, but number them, please. One, two, three. And then three questions you have about it. Okay. Okay, so this part right here at the bottom, if your ears pierced, it tends to be right there. Oh, God. No, I'm trying to show you where you are on the ear. People who have their upper ear pierced, it's often up here. So I'm trying to give you a, a relative position where you are on the ear. Does that help, guys? Yeah, where do they put that thing where they have like little circles in there? 
talking about. Just showed you. No, you mean, I think you mean like the big, the little gauges, I think. Yeah. Oh, that would be right here. Oh. Right here. Yeah, nothing you like. And it it's stretches right out that tissue. Yes, yeah. the gauge right there. Oh, God. Yeah. It doesn't have that much sens sensation. It, it's not that sensitive. Okay. Uh, I had a person ask a question. And I can't hear her question because there's a lot of other talking. Yes, ma'am. Hey, spell what? M U S C L E. It's a very good thing to spell because I know people in second block are going to ask me about that. M U S C L E. Not a water slide. Trust me, when you get water in your ear, you're not thinking, oh, this feels like a water slide. No. You feel terrible. Not at all. You can't yawn enough to get it out, can you? All right, guys, three notices and three wonders. sit an acre back off the road and when they have their base turned up high I'm like Ugh. and my husband I don't know if I've shared this with you guys before but when you dive if you have a sinus infection or you have anything blocking your tubes either on the outer ear the middle ear or the inner ear if you go down in the ocean the pressure increases when you come up you can blow out eardrum and cause permanent damage where you can't hear. So we we're in Costa Rica. I had a, it's called a BC, um, a buoyancy control vest and mine wasn't set right. I had a leak in it. And so instead of coming up to the safety stop at 15 feet and chilling for five minutes before you go up, I blasted right up out of the water like a rocket and messed up. Yeah, this year. Was it fun? No. What? I got the bins. I went from 90 feet to zero feet in a matter of seconds. I got the bins. The what? It, it can kill you, but I just was really sick. I couldn't eat and like had problems mean? breathing and like red legs. Oh, it's like belly pops? What? <sighs> Look at the bins. B E N Z. So six weeks later, we were diving in Florida. And Craig had a sinus infection and went down and it wasn't very deep. We're only 16 feet deep. And we were down for an hour and a half because when you're down that shallow, you can stay down for a long time on your tank. And we did, but he had a sinus infection. And you have your whole vacation planned around your scuba diving trips. You will make that trip whether you have a sinus infection or not. He blew out his ear. So in one summer, both of us blew out our hearing and each one of us lost hearing in one ear. He is still deaf and we all tease him. Hey, yo, old man, you need a hearing aid. Because <laughs> he really can't hear at all. Mine isn't as bad, but his, he cannot hear. And his doctors told him to use a hearing aid because he's older than me. I'm always like, what, what, what? what? So yeah, that, those airways in your ear get clogged up when you have a sinus infection. They get clogged up when you have allergies because that little, tube in your ear it's not very big is it so it gets clogged up easily and pressure underwater is high depending on how deep you are I'm confused. 
how it doesn't how it goes to the brain because there ain't like no nothing this that. takes a message to the brain that's the nerve it takes a message to the brain do you remember when we looked at the video friday about the elephants the vibrations from their feet go through the bone up to their ears okay the vibrations that are coming through the ear get to the eardrum they touch the first bone the second bone the third bone these little canals have to do with your balance your sense of balance this is all fluid there's fluid inside here so after it touches the bone what's it going to vibrate that fluid. the fluid that's disgusting but it passes the message on to the nerve okay and then the nerve goes straight up to your brain so you don't want those nerves to get damaged because if you have nerve damage to your auditory nerve you lose hearing there's so much that can go wrong with your ears because they're so perfectly designed everything has to be working correctly what would happen if they were all everything separate except the bones would you still be able to hear i don't know i've only done three levels of nursing school i don't know everything about the human body it's not often that you get a person with as much science background to teach a science class in elementary school <laughs> All right, has everybody got three notices and three wonders? I'm still on my notices. I want to hear your wonders. I want to hear your questions. Oh. Tiffany, have you done three notices and three wonders? Kimber, you might want to get her started since it's her first time doing a notice and wonder. We've done a bunch of notices and wonders in this class, haven't we? Can I say a wonder? Go for it. What would happen if none of the bones were separate and only. Which one? This bone or yeah. these bones? Um, this? Yeah. Well, what would it be attached to? Would it be oh. flopping to your hair? <laughs> oh. What would your hair be attached to for that matter? <laughs> you have to have structure, right? Otherwise, we start to look more like a jellyfish than a human. So you, your head would just go, oh. <laughs> we would have more problems than just migraines. Let's put it that way. Oh. <laughs> a little bit of You'd have a classroom with SpongeBob's, I guess. Where would that brain be? Floating around. Apparently, it would be like a jellyfish or a starfish or something. What if? What if it like? Okay. Yes, Melanie. If you lose your ear, do you lose your eardrum? If you lose your ear, are you talking about the outside part? Mm -hmm. So if you lose your, if you lose this part, if that's all you lost, like Van Gogh. Okay. Oh, I don't even know Van Gogh. Van Gogh. Who's Van Gogh? Van Gogh is one of the most famous artists of human of, of American. Okay, so he lost his outer ear, this part. But everybody, look up here. If you lose this part, do you still have the eardrum? Yeah. Yes, you do. So if you lose your outer ear, you just lose. This is called pinna. If you just lose a pinna, but nobody damages this part that goes in that tube, if that part isn't damaged, if nobody punctures or anything, you still have hearing. So, uh, so if you put a stick of pencil in your ear and I wouldn't, stab your ear. No, okay. no, no, no. What you're talking about there is this. I know, but like, I have a look like that. Look. If you were to take Her question head, if you stuck a pencil in your ear, that's what it would poke through, right? So would you still be able to hear it? Probably not. Because look what you're hitting. You're hitting the eardrum and look at the angle of the tube. You're hitting the eardrum and you're possibly hitting bones, two of them, maybe even three of them. You break those bones, there's no replacement. You can't replace them. No, right, because it's in the tube. What happens if your eardrum busts, busts open and then water That's just letting out. fluid out and that's fine. Your eardrum heals. How does the ear work? 
That's what we've been talking about. Have you been here? Okay, Allie. Why do we need all those what? Why do we need all the nerves? That is a very good question. Why do we need such a, because it looks like it has like four or five different pieces to it, doesn't it? Why do we need so many? That's a very good question. That one I'll have to look up. Don't know the answer to that one. If we didn't have them, we wouldn't get any. If we did not have the nerves, we wouldn't get information to our brain, would we? Wrong. You would be able to think. You, you can think without hearing. You can think without hearing. Trust me, my mom. She lost one of the bones. She still thought. Well, how come we didn't have any of the muscles? Well, okay. The how would your ear be attached? So, wait, what if you were blind and you trip over something, hit your eardrum, it busts open, and you're blind and the, you're blind and deaf in one ear. So you're blind, so you can't see, and you're deaf in one ear. Which is better than Ace is, because Ace is deaf in both ears and blind in both eyes. Uh, but Pete, I didn't know he was deaf and blind. I thought you were told us he was blind. He's deaf and blind. That's why I said he picks up vibrations through the ground. He picks up vibrations. It goes through his bones. It would be too hairy if you were just blind and you could hear stuff. That would be terrifying. What does the fat do in the ear? What is the purpose of the fat in the ear? That's a good question. Oh, yeah. Um, to protect it. Like, I don't know. If you're deaf, what do you hear? That's a good question, too. Did you hear uh, Wait. Guyana's if, question? Did I say it right? Uh, yeah, you said it right. Guyana's yeah. question, she said, if you're deaf, what do you hear? Like, is there just nothing? Or is, there, like, is it white noise? Is it static? You know when you like is it total people? silence? That would have been terrifying. Total silence. I hate. I hate quiet. Oh, oh I, hear I hear ringing. I don't. I don't ever have to silence. Wait. If you're no, if you okay. Silence. All right. So guys, we've had more than three questions asked to the whole classroom, right? Okay. Let's get some notices. That way, I know everybody. Even if you didn't come up with three of your own, you can at least have written down the ones that people shared with us. Can I say I noticed? Ricardo, what's one thing you notice? And please number your notices and wonders. Or Mr. Gary is totally getting overwhelmed. You notice the muscle what? It's, you notice the muscle does what? Does the muscle seem to attach the ear tightly to our head? Oh, it does. Okay, so that could be a notice. I notice that the muscle attaches the ear tightly to the head. Well, I mean, people rip their ear quite often, right? We've all seen that, yes. I have a weird question to ask. Mm -hmm. if, if you're yawning and a deaf person sees you, do they think you're screaming? Do the bones all touch each other? Look at the picture, guys. Let me show you the bones. Bone, bone, bone. Do they all touch each other? Yes, they do. So that's a good notice. I noticed the bones all touch each other. I'm going to label this, even though I know they don't want us to, but it's kind of important that everybody knows what these things are. Auditory nerve. These are called semicircular canals, but the only thing you need to know, they have to do with balance. I think I know what those white things are. I think the white things are like little bones and they're like, 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 they're like
Nope, not bones. That's a side cutaway of cartilage. What is cartilage? The soft thing that makes up your ears and your nose. What? So your nose. Feel the tip of your nose. Tip of your nose is about as soft as the top part of your ear. That's yeah. all cartilage. My nose ain't soft. A shark does not have bones for its outer skeleton. Its outer skeleton is cartilage, like our ear and our nose. That part up there is bone. This part down here is cartilage. Well, I mean, it's not as hard as your cheekbone either. Okay. Did everybody come up with three notices and three wonders? Because this is still finishing up Friday's lesson. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I want to hear Michaela. Um, I was about to say the bathroom passes. We'll worry about bathroom passes in a bit. And does it damage your nose if you don't have a bridge? I don't know. I, I don't know. We're doing the ear right now, okay? All right, Megan, do you have three notices and three wonders on page 29 for the ear? Yes, ma'am. Perfect. All right. So we're going to go to page 31. 31 in your notebook. Yes, 30 is blank. We're finally finishing up lesson 12. That was 12. Oh, Twelve. She said twelve. We finished up lesson twelve, going to lesson thirteen, and we're not doing anything on lesson on page thirty. We're going to page thirty-one. Oh, there was one question I missed. Anybody have an idea why this is called the? Because it does vibrate like a drum, just like that. Right. Oh, this is the part that I have to update. Painting because they make us make these posters out of, you know, pen. And this time they want us to go back and change it. Twice. And I have to take this off for each one of my classes too. Sorry, it's a spot here, but at least it's somewhat like an ear. So instead of having the cup with the top of it there receiving it, now it's something different. 
Hey, come on, paper. So, no more cut there. Now, what do we have? What goes here now? Do I have to do that on the nope, sure don't. Okay, so instead of it being a cup being the receiver, now it's what being the receiver? Yeah. The ear. And it still has the same message. Air seems like it's moving, but we can't see how it moves. So I don't have to literally go up to you and touch your eardrum with my mouth for you to hear what I'm saying, do I? Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> I made my point abundantly clear. You don't have to have something actually touch your ear, do you? It vibrates through the eardrum. Vibrates with the eardrum, but the sound wave goes through the air. 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 Nobody's touching your eardrum. Right? Okay, new lesson, finally. How can we investigate sound? By like experimenting? Yeah, experimenting. We could. Because I'm going to play while y'all learn. Okay. Where are the energy indicators in this picture? I'm going to back out so you guys can see it again. Where are the energy indicators? What about the speaker? It makes a sound. So I'm going to put that on here in pencil sound. And y'all don't need to add that. What's the other energy indicator on that speaker? Uh, vibration. Uh, light wire. Light. 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 light on it. Okay. All right. Thinking back. The receiver. When we were talking about the cup with the salt, was there another indicator of energy in that? Yes. Yeah. What? Sound, movement, vibration, and then wait, that's, 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 It's like he has my ADHD. He just can't connect yeah, the thoughts. Wait, oh, movement of the salt. Salt. It was so that's an indicator of energy. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Everybody get that? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, my seizure medicine does. Nope, it kind of short circuits your brain in a way. <sighs> Try having a medicine that makes you blind, makes you forget things, and makes you hyper. Okay, so buzz. Let's try it again. Buzz. better so we're going to watch the video and it's slow motion watch what you see and i'm going to ask you a couple questions afterwards let me make sure i'm sharing the right thing megan can you see a speaker yes ma'am perfect oh, oh my god it is moving what pattern do you notice 
in the speaker's motion. It moves up and down. It looks like it's vibrating a lot. It kind of looks like water ripples. It does kind of look like water ripples. Very good. Very good. Because it's blurry. Because it's blurry. Okay, so I have a screen. My own little toy. How can we move this to model the motion of the air around that speaker? Is that what that was doing? Yeah. Let me hit play again. I can find play. Is that like this? Yeah. No, no. It's stopped. Maybe kind of. So it, it does this and then it stops. Yeah. And then it goes in. It's like, oh, it's like different motions, like different ways. Like it has like different sounds. Okay. Do you think the way it's moving has to do with whatever sound it's playing? Yeah, yeah. because different sound makes different so, do you think if I played something like the song that I played Friday, it would mm -hmm. look very oh different? No. No. Imagine being Colby in the next room for me when I was laughing at my oh, last night. Yeah. He appreciated me so much. Oh, no, oh. Correct, Logan. Do it. Okay. No, I already did last night. Right. Oh. All right. So this, if I stretch it out, represents the air in the room. We could push it back and forth to model how the air gets pushed back and forth. Because that's what sound does. Sound pushes the air back and forth. I hate the way that moves. I have a plastic one too, but they gave me a metal one. Does everybody understand that? Yeah. Okay. Um, when we were investigating waterways, we had to modify the model to include an object that would let us track the movement of the matter and energy. What was the model that I added in the box? The big box of water. What did I add to the box of water so that you could see the motion of matter and energy? What did I drop in? Yeah, I mean, the boats. The boats. Thank you. I had one person that paid attention in my classroom. Okay. How can I modify this to track the movement of matter and energy? It is. Kind of like that speaker did, right? Like and that what the speaker did? When you like let it more out, it like shakes. Yep, more. like the speaker did, right? Yeah. So what could I attach to the screen to demonstrate matter and energy moving? Speaker. Speaker. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? It might be like tape. Tape. Okay, that's a good idea. Wait, what? Tape. No, right yep. again. <laughs> <laughs>
Guys, everybody stop what you're doing and point to the door. Was a really good idea. Good. Okay. So look out. Take those off before it gets very sticky. Take off. Yeah. Let's not. Look at Denny pulling it up and did it hurt to Logan? Okay. Look. See how close together they are now. Wait, what? Pieces of tape, green and blue. We can show how far apart they go. So we can show how energy moves in the screen by using tape. West. Oh, oh. Their picture of it was like this. That to me looks like a mess. You can see it, but it would stick to everything. Everybody see this? Everybody see these? Ricardo. Ricardo. Can you see it, Hunter? He was. He was. Do you see how they mark theirs? It's quite visible, but I'm afraid if I put my hand inside that, uh, that would be a mess. That would be painful. Okay. So they want us to stretch the spring across the floor. Apparently, I need four colors. Investigation plan. Let me show you this. This is how we're going to do our experiment. Page 20, 31. I can't see your screen. Okay. Oh, internet's dropping. So if I go out, that's why, okay? Okay. No, she's not. Okay. So this is what you need to copy at the top of your page 31. Just this. I'm going to zoom in on it. Stop singing. Investigation means to try to figure something out. One, two, three, four, five. Just like they did. It just means to try to figure something out. Yeah. Oh. All right. 
One, two, three, four, five. Copy it in that top area, okay? If you need to make Tiffany, go ahead. Do you know how you're getting home this afternoon? Are they supposed to call and let you know? She's going to call? Okay. All right, guys. You can be copying, okay? Oof. The air conditioner is working this morning, isn't it? It's cold now, but it'll be hot this afternoon. Finished with that. If you could go back to your seat, that way I know you're finished and we can actually do the little investigation. That would be most helpful.
by the way, um, I didn't know anything about the not wearing crops in school. Apparently, they're not supposed to wear them because they stick really well to floors. Here's the deal, though. If you're going to wear them, make sure I'm not the uniform police. Y'all already know that about me. Okay. If you wear them, make sure you always keep that hat, the, the back part behind your heel, always. So you don't walk out of your shoe and stumble forward on those stairs. I'm falling down the stairs twice and my arm is currently messed up from it. You don't want to fall down those stairs. I heard on the first where people do that. They're in like power mode. All right. How many more people are still popping in? Okay. I want to actually be able to do the lab. Jesse, did they give you a Chromebook? Uh, okay. Oh, this Oh my God, six sons in the lab. What? 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 Who didn't, who came from uh, virtual to physical and did not get that uh, planning book? Kimber, hold up the planning book that I gave Tiffany. Who doesn't have one of those? Okay, so. I came from virtual. Okay. I'll see if Mr. Ramirez has one because that was my last experience. Cool. Most of the teachers keep one for themselves, but I don't need one for myself. I use my phone as my planner, so that was my teacher planner. That's why I had it. Okay, everybody got it? Some of our lessons are a little bit shorter, some of our lessons are a little bit longer, so it's, so it's okay to borrow time a couple days in a row, that's fine, because the next day's lesson will be short. If I'm not mistaken, we have a conceptual checkpoint, I think tomorrow. It's easy though, because we've kind of already answered it. Yeah. The fact that I have shared with you so much about ACE will help you with the conceptual checkpoint tomorrow. It has to do with ears and hearing and what a person would do to hear if they were deaf. And I've already shared with you what ACE does. ACE doesn't hear things through his ears. How does ACE perceive things? Vibrations, Vibrations like the elephant, right? Well, it would be smart if people could like get that little phone that you know when you do the little like thing, the little sound thing. You're talking about the phone, the amplified things? No, the, you know that one time where it had like that thing where and it made that made that little sound? With the, oh, the whistle, the, the whistle. Thing. Yeah, whistle. Why, yeah. why couldn't he do that to talk to like? Ace can't hear that. He's deaf. 
No. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can hear that. Y'all can hear that. How is this? It says only people under 25 can hear it. Oh, I can hear that. Migraine. My head's sensitive. Uh -huh. Okay, so it tells us we need to stretch this across the floor. Thank you. 
All right, end of class.